Hello students, welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, I'm going to discuss the laws of exponents. Basically, laws of exponents are a set of rules to follow when performing algebraic operations like multiplication, division, and exponentiation. This includes product of powers, power of a power, power of a product, quotient of powers, power of a quotient, and negative exponent. To start with, let's have product of powers. This law of exponents states that for any real number a and any positive integers m and n, a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to the sum of m and n. Say for example, find the product of a cube and a squared. So here, since the bases are the same, that is variable a, all we need to do is to add the exponents. So we have 3 plus 2, and that gives us a value of a raised to 5, or a to the power of 5. Another example, 2ab squared times 3a squared b cubed. So here, we need to first multiply the numerical coefficients 2 and 3. So there we have positive 6. Then for the terms with the same variables, we will add the exponents. There we have a times a squared. Adding 1 and 2 will give us a cubed. b squared times b cubed, that would become b raised to 2 plus 3 or b to the fifth power. So for this item, the answer is 6a cubed b to the fifth. Also another example, say we need to multiply negative 2x squared y by 3xyz squared and 5x squared y cubed. So first, multiply all the numerical coefficients. We have negative 2 times positive 3 times positive 5. Then for the terms with the same variable, we will add the exponents. Now for the x variable, we have x squared times x times x squared or x raised to 2 plus 1 plus 2 that gives us a value of x to the fifth for variable y we have y times y times y cubed so that's the same with y raised to 1 plus 1 plus 3 or y raised to the fifth for the z variable since there's only one algebraic expression that contains z which is z squared simply drop z squared. Final answer for this item is negative 30 x raised to the fifth y raised to the fifth z squared. Next we have power of a power. It says that for any real number a and any positive integers m and n quantity a raised to m raised to n is the same as a raised to m n. For example we have x squared raised to the fifth. So that's the same with x raised to 2 times 5 or x to the power of 10. Another example, say we are asked to find the cube of 10 squared. So that would be 10 raised to 2 times 3 or 10 raised to 6 or simply 1 million. Next, power of a product. This law states that for any real numbers a and b, and any positive integer m, quantity ab raised to m is the same as a raised to m, b raised to m. For example, we have quantity 5xy squared, quantity cubed. Here, all you need to do is to distribute the outer exponent 3 to every component of your algebraic expression. So here we will have 5 cubed times x cubed times the quantity y squared cubed. Evaluating this value, we'll have 5 cubed is 125 x cubed. Then the cube of y squared, that's the same with y, raised to 2 times 3 or y to the 6th power. So the final answer for this example is 125 x cubed y to the 6th. Next, we have quotient of powers. For quotient of powers, it says that for integers m and n, where m is greater than n, and any non-zero number a, a raised to m over a raised to n, 
is the same as a raised to m minus n. All you need to take note is that if we are multiplying terms which has same basis, we add exponents. If we are dividing terms with the same basis, we simply subtract the exponents. As an example, say we have m to the fifth power divided by m cubed. So since the bases are the same, we'll copy the base, that's m, then we have 5 minus 3. So the answer for this item is m squared. Another example, 9a cubed b to the fourth power c squared divided by negative 3a squared bc. Evaluate this algebraic expression part by part. You begin with the numerical coefficients, that's 9 divided by negative 3, then a cubed divided by a squared, b to the fourth power divided by b, c squared divided by c. Evaluating the numerical values, that's 9 divided by negative 3, it's negative 3. The exponent of a would become 3 minus 2, so that leaves us a value of a. Then for b variable, we have 4 minus 1, that is b cubed. C exponents, 2 minus 1, gives us a value of C. So the final answer for this item is negative 3, B cubed, C. Next, for power of a quotient, it says that for any real numbers A and B, where B should not be equal to 0, any positive integer M, it is true that quantity A over B, quantity raised to M, is the same as A raised to M over b raised to m. For example, we have quantity x over y, quantity squared, so that would become x squared over y squared. We will just distribute the exponent to. Another example, say we have quantity 2xy squared over 3z cubed, quantity cubed. Here we will distribute the exponent 3 to each part of our algebraic expression. We'll have 2 cubed, then x cubed, for the numerator, y, 2 times 3, since that is also power of a power, over 3 cubed, then z, 3 times 3. Evaluating this algebraic expression, we'll have 2 cubed is 8, x cubed, then y, 2 times 3 as an exponent is y raised to the 6, over 3 cubed, that's 27, then z, 3 times 3 as the exponent, or z raised to 9. So the final answer for this item is 8x cubed, y to the 6th power, over 27, z raised to 9. Take note that if the numerical coefficients can be simplified, always simplify it. In this case, they are relatively prime, so we cannot simplify 8 and 27. Plus, for negative exponent, it says that for any non-zero real number a, and any positive integer n, it is true that a raised to negative n is equal to 1 over a raised to n. So in short, for negative exponent, we will just get the reciprocal of the algebraic expression when the exponent is negative. So let's say, for example, we have 2b raised to negative 2. Since the coefficient 2 has an exponent of positive 1, so it would stay in the numerator. Meanwhile, for b raised to negative 2, we need to get the reciprocal of that. So, the b raised to negative 2 would become 1 over b squared. Multiplying 2 and 1 over b squared gives us a value of 2 over b squared. Another example, 3 b raised to negative 2, c cubed, over 6 b raised to negative 1, c raised to negative 2. We will evaluate this algebraic expression part by part. For b variable, we have b raised to negative 2 divided by b raised to negative 1. For c variable, we have c cubed divided by c raised to negative 2. So evaluating 3 over 6, we have 1 half. For b raised to negative 2, since that is in the numerator, we will have 1 over b squared times. For 1 over b raised to negative 1, you will get the reciprocal of that fraction, we'll have b. Then for c variable, c cubed will retain in the numerator since the exponent is positive. Then for 1 over c raised to negative 2, getting its reciprocal, that's the same with c squared. Evaluating the item, we have 1 half 
So, 1 over B squared times B is 1 over B. Then, for C, we have C cubed times C squared or C raised to 5. Multiplying those terms, we'll have a value of C raised to the 5th over 2B. That's it for our today's video. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless.